Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're going to look at a really neat trick on how to get some really profound special effects in the Godot game engine uh, using a technique called LUTs, or lookup tables. Now if you're a digital artist or a film producer or anything, your LUTs are routine to you. If not, they're probably a little bit new to you. Now the reason I was originally talking about this is this morning uh, there was a Fanatical bundle, the Halloween Content Creator bundle. If you dug into it, you would see there are a handful of LUTs in here, a thousand LUTs and presets bundle. Uh, the uh, 20 Wonderland LUTs, the 20 Fantasy LUTs, and so on. Um, and I figured some of you may not have experienced LUTs or realize how cool they can be. So what we're going to do is look at them in Unity. Specifically, we're going to look at them using a plugin called the Godot Color LUT Shader. And I'm going to show you first off what a LUT is all about, and then I'll show you how you can use it in Godot using this particular plugin to do some really cool and profound effects. So first off, let's show you a real world example, and that is the thumbnail for this video. Here's where we started. Basically, I, I ran the demo in four different modes, four different LUTs or lookup tables active, and took screenshots of them and sliced them vertically. Then notice that this is kind of, I don't know, it's a little washed out or faded, but it is a good starting point. So then what I did is I take it into Affinity, add some, um, you know, text overlays on it so you actually know what the thumbnail is about, but then we do some magic. We take it over into a program called Luminar, and here you can see I've completely changed the colors. This way when you look at, at thumbnail size, it pops out a bit more. Well, I'm going to show you how a LUT can make a huge change uh, on an image like this uh, really easily. So Luminar... Um, Supports LUTs, so color style here. Uh, some people might call this color grading, although technically it, it's a different thing. And you'll notice here, when I hover over these various different ones, we got different cinematic toning here. By the way, you can use this on video as well, but most game engines support LUTs in some form as well. So here you can see the effect on the image as I hover over. And you can see it makes a pretty profound change to the overall feel of the color. And so on. So you can go through these, get various different uh, color effects, really simple, and uh, LUTs can be very, very, very profound in the change they make. You could use it to change the entire scene to Cephia or green skin. You could use this for special effects such as your character is an alien looking through their own vision mechanism. So now let's look at how we apply this in the Godot game engine. I'll show you the process of installing this in just a second, but instead I'm going to show you it actually working. So this here is the TPS example for Blender, or for the Godot game engine. And let's show it unaltered. So I'm going to go ahead and run this scene. So here we are recording this for a second time because for some reason the first time uh, none of the full screen footage took. So yay, doing work twice. All right, so here we are in the Godot engine. Uh, this is for familiar uh, TPS. If I end up doing a little duplicate talking in this video, I apologize because again, I am uh, recording this. Also, if you saw it up on YouTube and you're wondering where the heck did that video go? Well, I had to record half of it over again. So what we're doing, we're looking at the TPS example. This is kind of showcasing what uh, the Godot game engine can do and what things look like. Let's go do a typical run of this. Uh, we're not going to do it full screen this time. That way uh, it works. <laughs> so uh, here we see the uh, default render settings for uh, the TPS example using Godot. I'm also going to show you later on uh, how you can make some pretty profound film changes really easily. But this is the example you see the lighting effects and so on. And now what we're going to do is invoke the power of a LUT using the uh, add-on, which I'll showcase how to install and use later on. So let's exit that one, and I'll show you how to actually use a LUT, and then we'll go from there. So first off, we need to find the camera. The camera is attached to the player like so, and all we're doing is adding a child node to the player of type look. Oh, no. Color lookup table, color grading filter. All right, so we add a color grading filter there. You'll see it's childed to a color rectangle. And what we want to do is show how much of the screen affects to apply these two. And then the last thing we need to do is actually add a LUT. Now we can do a straightforward LUT. This one has a LUT attached to it, but let's do something pretty profound. So you can see the result right away. In the add-ons folder, you will find color grading LUT available right there. And let's make this guy grayscale. So you can see the effects right away. This is a pretty profound one. Uh, grayscale with saturation. Just drag that into the LUT channel over there and then run your example. And you're going to see exactly what a LUT does. All right, here we go. Come on. Oh, I'm in the wrong. Okay, I can't exit that. Let me just stop. And actually, we'll go back to the game scene so you can see it. So what we want to do is save the scene here, go over to the level, and we will run it. We'll run the right scene here. Uh, so the LUT is applied. Our game is loading. 
There we go. So now you can see our LUT in action. You can see how profound of an effect it does. Now this is actually after all of the effects, all of the lighting, so everything is affected by uh, the lookup table changes. So basically, you can think of it as a way of kind of remapping the coloration of your scene. So you can see how you could use this in effect. You could use it for um, if your character was taking damage or if you wanted to do a historical flashback or you had a picture-in-picture picture of a camera that was, um, you know, old-timey black-and-white camera or you could do... Uh, predator vision. There's all kinds of things that you could use a LUT for. You can also use a LUT in a much subtler example. So let's go here and look at the player and let's go with say Doom's coloration. So we want to have a bit more like Doom. Uh, we'll go ahead and run that in. We'll save that one. Go back to our level and now this uh, scene is being tinted or color graded using Doom's color palettes. Um, by the way, there are tools built in here uh, for making your own LUTs as well. So here you can see we've got more of a reddish tinge. I don't know why Godot always starts centered to the bottom of the window on a multi-monitor display, but it does. So you can see we've got a very red tint applied to our overall game. And you can see kind of what the LUTs do overall. So you could do all kinds of uh, effects using LUTs pretty easily. Uh, let's look at one last example. Let's, let's do a Cepheid filter on our old scene because the world is nothing if not better with Cepheid. So you see here, let's go... Cephia, and just drop that into the LUT. Once again, save it, go back, and we will run this fellow. And... Ba -bum -bum. All right, there we go. The, there is our scene now lit in Cephia. So uh, these can also be swapped dynamically, by the way. So if you wanted to go to like a flashback and have black and white colors, you can do so. Uh, you can also add a lot more uh, detail to the LUT. These are pretty simple LUTs. Some LUTs have like, you know, hundreds and hundreds of colors being mapped. Um, so you can have it, you know, you're seeing some details kind of being bled out with these LUTs. You can get away from that uh, by basically providing more complicated LUTs or using kind of the LUTs that were uh, provided in uh, today's uh uh, today's bundle from Fanatical, but you'll find LUTs. There are thousands of sources of LUTs out there. It's just one of those things I figured that you might find interesting to see them in action. And you can see how profound a VFX effects you can actually make using color lookup tables uh, really simply. And the key thing here is this plugin uh, that is the star of the show and more details on that after I finish re-recording this part. So that is it for the re-record anyways. Stay tuned for probably me talking about the same thing all over again. So go over back to the web page. What you're gonna notice is it is available on GitHub, uh, Godot Color LUT Shader. Uh, and they basically just come on in here and clone this repository. Then I've opened it up in um, my temp folder because that's where all things go. And you're gonna notice what you wanna do if you're using this is basically copy the contents of this add-ons folder to your project's add-ons folder. So here you can see, uh, I've just basically taken the color grading LUT and you can move it over here to, um, so here's the TPS demo. You'll notice the folder called add-ons, color grading LUT. And that's really almost all you need to do. The only other thing to be aware of, and by the way, this project, if we go back to where I cloned it, if you clone this guy, you will find there's actually an example project in there as well. So let's head on back over to Godot land. Where are you, Godot? There you are. Uh, we're going to open that one up. Hmm. thought I already opened it up. So let's browse for that guy. C colon slash temp slash Godot LUT project open. And here we go. Now do be aware there's, again, also a tool in here uh, that in, oof, that's a pretty profound LUT. Uh, so you see the thing in fact, so here is your LUT. There is the LUT that's brought in. Uh, so we've got various different examples here. Oh, no, add-ons, color grading, default LUTs. Let's do the Doom styling here. This is just working on a 2D image. Oops, did I drag it to the wrong spot? No, I didn't. Hmm. Not sure why my LUT's having that effect. Oh no, it is. It was just, it was glitching out. Okay, so there is the effect change of the uh, greenish LUT. Let's put a Cepheid filter LUT in instead. Now there does seem to be a bit of a bug with this example that I gotta pull it off and on, but you can see the effect of the LUTs on all the underlying pixels. Again, by the way, you do not have to do this over the entire screen. Uh, so you can 
bring the rectangle down and do it. So if you were doing picture in picture or something like that, so you wanted to do like a staticky camera in your scene, you could do it this way as well if you wish. It's basically just a rectangle that goes over top. And again, there's this color grading tool. It allows you, I think you hit F11 while your game is running and it saves a screenshot that you can then import into your tool of choice to make your own uh, modifications from the pixel palette of your actual game. Uh, more details of that are available over here if you scroll on down. Um, you're going to see some details on using the screenshot plugin to bring it in and create your own uh, LUTs as a result, if you are interested. By the way, there's one other step you got to do, project settings. If it's in the right spot when you go to plugins, it will show up here. Just make sure it is enabled. So thank you to Thiagio Amendola, Amendola, I'm guessing that one is, uh, for creating this plugin. Very cool stuff, and it brings the world of LUTs or lookup tables to the world of the Godot game engine. Again, there's similar functionality in Unreal and Unity and every video editor, every Photoshop-esque project out there supports LUTs to a certain degree because they're a great way of just kind of getting a vibe or a feel or, or something, uh, an emotion across with your art. And it's no, no different with games and game development. So that is it. Uh, that is using color LUTs in the Godot game engine. Hopefully some of you guys found that at least interesting or useful. You got some ideas percolate, percolate, percolating percolating yeah percolating in your head let me know comments down below talk to you all later goodbye